the Super Bowl next year and you said and you hop on the bandwagon, join it now. Join it. Andy Dalton's gonna save this team. This is Ralph Amsden with Fango Media outside of Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina, where the Atlanta Falcons are running away with it late, currently up 35 to 20 between Tyson Algier and Bajan Robinson having like 200 yards total rushing. It's been a rough go for the Panthers. We're gonna see if we can talk to some Panthers fans, if there's any left. You can see they're filing out of the stadium. Uh, we'll see if we can get some Falcons fans too and see what they make of this offense finally making use of all of its weapons. Red Rocket, let's go. Oh, what's your name? Red, red, red Rifle. Red Rifle. Red Rifle. Get right. Get red Rocket is something else. No yeah, yeah, hold on, he good, he good. No matter More what. More than 10 yards. Panthers. All the way, all the way. We don't, we don't care. We in the rebuild right now. Let us come back, watch. Who went to the Super Bowl? Yeah, exactly. Well, Who's the man now? Who's the man that's going to save the Panthers now? The main man? Yeah. Uh, Deontay Johnson looks like he's like breaking out. So, but like, we need to like, Dave we need to. He, he need to, he, he need to, he, I, he, he need to turn him around, bro. He need yeah, to turn him around. Defense. That's all we need. Hey, we need to Derek Brown, Derek Brown, Brown comes back next year, but you're saying they're going to turn it around this year. What makes you think they're going to turn around this year? Get, I don't know. I don't know. get doing good. Johnson's doing good. Red Rifle, he's doing good. Better than Bryce. It's true. Better we're doing than Bryce. Good, but like this year might not be our year, but we we're like definitely we're on coming. the right track. We coming. Panthers, your team? Uh, Panthers are my team, Go but lie. I, I support them. I support them. Lie. Panthers are my team. He's a fan. The whole goal is to get more fans. So what we're going to do is we're going to convince Henry to become a permanent Panthers yes, fan. Yes, yes, All right, yes, so yes. we're going to go around. You got to make your case. Why should Henry be a permanent Panthers fan? Because See, we're down in the dumps right now. You know, we're, we're one in five now. We will get back to greatness. You remember when? 2015? When? Do you remember 2015? That's I've won. It's been 10 years. All right, we got to tap in, tap in. Here we go. We got to convince Henry to become a permanent Panthers fan. Here we go. Well, for one, you live in the city of Charlotte. You've lived here for a long time. And um, it's, it's fun to be a part of a fan base of a rebuilding team because, you know, you just you kind of get to, like, watch the team grow and build on itself year after year, um, even though we seem to be getting worse. Uh, you can still like your Seahawks. We're going to tap in somebody who is not wearing a jersey of a player that does not play on the team anymore, so you're in. When we're in the Super Bowl next year and you say, and you hop on the bandwagon, all of a sudden, like, join it now. Join it. Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton's going to save this team. Red that's, that's it. Red Rocket. Red Rocket. All right, which one of your friends did the best job? I'd say Andrew. Andrew right here. Be honest here. Be honest here. Like, as a fan of another team or a dual fan or somebody who's on your way, what do you actually think this team can do to fix things? Because they moved the ball all right today, but they gave up like 200 plus yards rushing. I'd say for starters, get rid of David Tepper. He's he's, he's not a great owner, to be honest. He can keep the, the Charlotte FC, but aside from that, he's got to go. we got to get a new GM in here and make some moves. Okay, so if David Tepper sells the team, like, are you in? Yeah, I'm in. Okay, there you go. Yeah. There you go. We can get one one more Panthers fan if the billionaire that owns this team back here decides to go do something else. So, for Henry. For Henry, right? Yep. Yes. Yep. For Henry. For Henry. Yeah! Sell it, Tepper. There's a tough loss today. There's been a few tough losses. But what do you like most about being a fan about this team? I love the colors. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the truth right now. When this team started, like in like the late '90s, and it was blue and black, I was like, "That's that's gonna yeah, be my team yeah, too." Like no one else has those. I know it's like I felt shallow at the time, but come on, come you're on. You're losing all the time. You have to pick something though. I liked it. She even matched her shorts. I did. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah I yes. tried. Yeah. yeah. Who is your favorite player? Bryce Young. I like yeah, Bryce Young too. I know, but like he's. I feel like people are too hard on him. I agree. He's just, I he's agree. Young. He's young. He's young. <laughs> he's very young, and he's like he's like my height. So if yeah. you don't protect him, yeah. it'd be pretty rough. I, just, I yeah. think honestly, in a few years, the team's gonna be really good. Yeah. We're just young right now, you know. What do you think? I <laughs> this is the worst question ever, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. <laughs> if they got good, uh -huh. it, do you think it'd be a little bit less fun to go to these games because it'd be packed out, it'd be crazy? Do you kind of like that? that it's a chill environment. I have a hot topic or a hot take on yeah. this. So, I feel like Panthers fans for the most part, some of them are like bandwagoners. So, like they pick and choose when they want to support. And like you see the, like the rider dies and they come to like every game, but then there's some that's like they only come when we're winning, you yeah. know? 
and like that's been a few years that's and it's like you need to old. stick it out. Uh, what is your favorite thing about coming to Bank of America Stadium? Um, I like being with other Panthers fans and just uh, spending time together and like, I don't know. It's just something to do. Yeah. Like, it, well, it's the atmosphere is really fun. Like, like I said earlier, if you have, you know, a loyal fan base, yeah. it just, it, you know, the vibes are good and the drinks are flowing, <laughs> you know, I just love it. So now you are both very complimentary to Bryce Young. Right. How do we get this man another chance? I think he needs help on the field for sure. Like, I mean, you can be the best quarterback and not have any help. Right. It. I mean, it comes down to the receivers. It yeah. comes down to everybody. Like, it's not just him. Yeah. I feel. Uh, it's not a one-person sport. I love it. It's not a one-person sport. Give Bryce Young a chance. There's no I in team. There's no I in team. That's true. what I was trying to say. Now they're not decked out in team gear, but I'm gonna take a guess because I heard. Spider. Atlanta. Atlanta Rise Spider. Up, baby. Okay. Rise up. All right, so we got Falcons fans here. I, I got some questions. Yes, sir. This is on paper on paper, one of the best put together offenses I've ever seen. And now they kind of look like it coming to Carolina, yeah, beating the do. snot out of the Panthers. Yeah, they do. I'm not going to lie, the addition of Kirk Cousins on the offseason, it helped a lot. Uh, Drake London looked good today. He looked real good. The offense was clicking on all cylinders, hence why we put up 30 plus points today. I'm a big Bajan Robinson fan. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I've known him since he was 14, put 15 years old. Put the mustard on it. Let's put the mustard on it, Bijan. Oh, he knows about the mustard. So him and Algier, BYU product, Texas product, BYU product. they combined for 200 yards rushing today. What do you guys think about that? Shake and bake, baby. That's what I think about it, shake and bake. If you ain't baking, you ain't shaking, baby. We worked very well together. The uh, the camaraderie glued together, allowing, the, allowing it to click. Hence why we got the, the significant win over Carolina today. Rise up, baby. Rise up. I've been waiting since the day of the draft yeah. to ask a Falcons fan on camera okay. uh -oh. that Michael Penix pick. Do you oh, agree with it? man. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, most definitely. Okay. Let's groom him into what a great quarterback can be, and that's behind Kirk Chains, baby. Yeah, that's behind yeah. Kirk Chains. He's going like, to teach him how I to like, play the game right. I like Kirk Bangs. Some people say he's a journeyman, but I like Kirk Bangs for, for, to get him in the motions to become an NFL quarterback. It takes a lot development to become an NFL quarterback. You think Drake London has what it takes to be every down guy get get to be one of those top five receivers? Most definitely. Yeah. Kirk ain't, ain't pick nobody else. He's a good, reliable man. Drake is him. Drake, Drake is him. You know how they have the 20 picks? They have the top 10 and the lower 10. Okay. I give it like upper lower 10. I got to ask every Falcons fan, how do we fix Kyle Pitts? Just get him more involved. Yeah, we got to get him more involved. Somewhere that we can get him to dump off the pass. On the play action, let's get him open, and I feel like he'll be a great asset. Yeah. Rise up. Hell yeah, you already know what it is. What's your hey, name? Hey, Nick. 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 Yeah, yeah. What do you like most about this year's Falcons team? Hey, man, Kirk Cousin, man, we paid him, we paid him that money. You know what I'm saying? So he's showing us, he's showing he's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Rise up, man. You know what I'm saying? Super Bowl. Who knows? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying nothing, but who knows? We come to Bank of America and take over. This is our stadium. This is the second Benz. Rise up. We here. We finna show out and we finna celebrate. You know what time it is. Calling Bank of America Stadium the second Benz is incredible. This is like a 90s Benz. <laughs> <laughs> you don't take it out that often. Yeah, it's outside. Hey, either way. Either way, we here, bro. <laughs> either way, you already know what time it is. Hey, it's your game, but we own y'all boys, man. Better luck next year. Rise up. Let's go. Bank of America is the second Benz might be the title of this video. That's crazy. But how do we fix the Carolina Panthers? Play Bryce Young. Amen. Play he Bryce Young and we're going to win every single time. That's just like that. Really, though, I think put Bryce in, try to develop the players for real. Like, try to work with them, try to get them better. Instead need to of give just, them a chance. Yeah, give them a chance. Try to work on the offense, man. We need to work on offense more, for real. True. Yeah, I mean, you look at, so you look at Kirk Cousins, right? He's got Drake London, Kyle Pitts, yeah. Bajan Robinson, Tyson Algier. I don't know if the Panthers have a single player that could start on that offense. Nah, nah maybe Deontay Johnson. Johnson. Did Deontay's thing. good. Chuba, he did his thing today, but nah, not like the not like the Falcons though. They ain't got they ain't got players like the Falcons. Uh, do you want to talk, talk about what happened to the Saints today? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, you heard it here. Rise up, Atlanta Falcons come into Charlotte, they come to Bank of America Stadium, or the second Benz, as it was called earlier. They get a 38 to 20 win. Tyson Algier, Bajan Robinson, 200 yards rushing. I don't know what the Panthers are supposed to do. They got no Derrick Brown. They keep giving up on quarterbacks, and this stadium keeps getting filled with opposing fans. So for Fango Media, where the fan reactions are all that matter, my name is Ralph Amston.